Hello geeks, my name is Vamp and you guys are watching Code with Vamp. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the series of web pen testing. Uh, in this particular video, we are gonna talk about another uh, passive recon tool and the name of the tool is Netcraft. Netcraft is basically a UK based company that monitors almost every website. Number of paid services are also offered by them. But we are mostly interested in how we can use it for information gathering without paying a penny. So in this video, we are going to see how to use Netcraft in order to get the information about the technologies used by any website on a server and client side both. Now why this tool is very important for you and uh, for web app pen testing. Just imagine that you have to perform a vulnerability assessment on any of the website but you don't have any idea about the underlying technologies uh, that this particular website is using on the client side or on the server side. Now the very noob method would be uh, you will go uh, through the brute force approach and you will blindly guess the underlying technologies and that's not going to help you at all. Okay, So with this tool that is Netcraft you can get 90% uh, exact information about the underlying technologies at the uh, client side or at the server side. So enough talk uh, let's see how this Netcraft tool actually works. So I will open my Chrome here. And what you have to type here, uh, definitely netcraft.com. So just see, uh, it's netcraft.com, netcraft.com, hit enter. And you can see this is the website for uh, netcraft.com. Here you can see a number of security services are also provided by this netcraft.com. You can also uh, report any of the website here and if you want to purchase it you can request for the demo but we are looking for something uh, that is useful to us and we don't have to pay so just keep scrolling down uh, until you see a tab like this so what that site is running so using this result uh, you can find the technologies and infrastructure used by any of the website okay so this is what uh, we need uh, you have to just uh, paste the url of the website and you have to hit here and you will get all the information uh, regarding the underlying technologies okay for the demo purpose uh, what i'm going to do i'm just uh, going to uh, use a college website here uh, let me show you the name of the call is so it's some uh, university in pakistan or karachi and what i will do i will just copy this url and i will get back to the netcraft and i will paste it here and after that, you just have to click here. So uh, remember that I'm not uh, doing any harm to this website. I'm just trying to uh, collect information regarding the underlying technologies. So I'm not doing any kind of attack. So it's just the information gathering process. Okay. Okay. So here is all the information uh, regarding uh, this particular site. So you can see the site title that is Dowd University and here uh, Netcraft also provide a risk rating so it's 1 by 10 here so let's look for some relevant information and here we have our domain and name server okay so with this uh, particular Netcraft you also get the information about the name server and definitely the IP address here and you can also get the information about the dns admin okay and okay so other relevant information so hosting company here and then it's a top level domain that is tld from pakistan and about the hosting country so okay so this particular website is hosted in us now you get all the information regarding the IP address so that we have already seen in the uh, whosdomaintools.com uh, okay so just scroll down and here we have some information regarding the SSL or TLS if you scroll down you can see uh, what kind of encryption algorithm use so it's RSA and and you can also see the protocol version that is a TLS version 1.2 here and then the length of the key use and certificate check is available here or not and what kind of algorithm used for signature and serial number the ciphers used 
uh, now public key hash so why why this particular information is uh, necessary now imagine if you know what type of SSL or TLS version this particular website is using it would be very easy for you to find the loopholes in that particular version if you don't know about this information you have to go for the brute force approach you have to check for every version vulnerability so th that would just short your work okay that would make your work easy and you will be also aware of the information regarding the encryption algorithm that are used in the website so that uh, you can make your uh, attacking approach more uh, foolproof okay now if you just scroll down you can see uh, uh, signed certificate timestamps so this is not something relevant but uh, for the higher attacks uh, this this would be relevant i am just skipping this part uh, if you scroll down a little bit okay so here we have ssl certificate chain irrelevant and the hosting history okay so here you get the information about the net block owner and the ip address here you can see that what kind of operating system it is using so it's using the linux operating system so that's the another uh, information adder for you and okay so if you scroll down that that would be irrelevant uh, just keep scrolling uh, now another amazing information it will also tell you that uh, this particular website is using any kind of web trackers or not so basically uh, what happens that most of the website uh, use this web tracker in order to monitor the individual user behavior uh, for their own purpose okay what attackers and pen testers do uh, they try to exploit these uh, trackers also so that could be another approach so here you can see that uh, two uh, web trackers are available okay and now the most important part of the net draft that is the site technology what are the technologies that are used on the server side or the client side so you can see very clearly on the server side uh, this particular website is using php uh, that is for the scripting language and the xml and the ssl is for cryptography now after knowing that uh, this particular website is using php at the server side you can just decrease your workload and you can just uh, generate the payload uh, which is specific to php okay so when you are accessing or when you are trying to grant the access on this particular website or when you are performing attack uh, your pay payloads will be mostly related to the php or uh, uh, you have already seen that uh, it's using the operating system that is linux your payload will be more uh, linux dependent kind of okay so these uh, so that's why these informations are required or necessary so if you see uh, on the client side it uses javascript uh, so what is the client side uh, when you open uh, any website on the browser on your mobile or, or on your laptop uh, what is the technology that is running behind this uh, particular web page it's called the client side and here it's using javascript is that if you have to perform any client side attack uh, the payload would be more relevant to JavaScript then only it will work okay so what are the frameworks that are used on the client side so it is using jQuery so that's uh, another information add up uh, this particular website is having the blog and what kind of blog technology it is using it's using the WordPress so uh, you can also perform attack related to the WordPress uh, it is using any PHP application yes WordPress uh, and again is there any rss feed there so if it's available uh, what kind of technology it is using and the description now another important thing is character encoding now why this character encoding is important uh, whenever there is a transmission of a data uh, it requires the conversion of data into electric pulses and for that purpose we use character encoding so you must know about the character encoding technologies used by uh, that particular website now another important thing is http compression whether uh, any compression technology is used by this particular website on http so most of the we website does not use this http compression uh, but this particular website is using so you can see that which kind of technology it is using for uh, compression so it's gzip uh, content encoding technology and you can get all the information regarding that uh, by clicking here okay now what kind of doc type it is using so whenever you have to integrate the xml uh, with a web page okay so you need a doc type 
so here it is using html5 now whether html5 is included in the website or not so about the html5 and and the information about uh, the cascading style sheet uh, so what what are the technologies it is embedded external or uh, media query so all this information about the website you can easily see here and that would make your work very very easy instead of uh, blindly trying for any of the uh, technology you can just go to specific one and uh, that would make your work a lot easy okay i hope that you have got all the insight about this netcraft.com and how it's going to help you in uh, decreasing your workload and uh, so that was all about this uh, passive information gathering tool i hope that you have got a basic idea of how to use this netcraft tool uh, in order to gather the information related to the underlying technologies in the upcoming videos we will see uh, how we can get more detailed information regarding the technologies dns server and all these things uh, we will talk about new tools and if you have any doubt regarding this uh, netcraft tool uh, don't forget to put your doubt in the comment section i will definitely try uh, to solve that confusion believe me next time if you are going for any kind of web pen testing interview don't forget to mention the netcraft okay so let's close this session here uh, we will meet in the next video with another tool till then stay curious stay protected